Hello, welcome to the Nanotechnology Lab. So this is our ellipsometer. So we can measure th thickness of very thin films uh, with this ellipsometer. And uh, its uh, function is very simple. So to turn it on, here is the switch with the key. And we move it when we have to turn on. And here is the shutter for the laser. So when we take out, so laser beam will come here and we close from here. So this is the shutter. So this is the sample stage. And uh, we put sample on the stage before turning on the laser actually. And uh, I show you here. So like in the middle. So we put it the uh, our sample with thin films with which thickness we has to measure with the ellipsometer so we can move it up and down so when we turn on laser we it's recommended to turn on around 15 minutes before uh, operation to get a stable laser signal and uh, this is this is the shutter uh, shutter to put the laser here when we start function and uh, with this uh, knob we can lose stage up and down so and see in the analyzer that it's going uh, inside or not here is the uh, detector for the analyzer so this part is analyzer this part is polarizer so <coughs> to measure the thickness we come to the computer and this uh, shortcut so from here click here and uh, this window pops up and the angle which we use for polarizer and analyzer so currently we are using the angle is 45 45 for each for uh, analyzer and polarizer so here we put 45 and uh, for example thickness of the film is 10 nanometer red angstrom then we estimate uh, a1 and p1 so a1 so from clicking from here so we get value 34.38 and p1 47.5 so from this we can change and get the a1 value 34 point something and the same way on the polarizer side we can move it and get that value so when we have set on both analyzer and polarizer on the <coughs> estimated uh, b1 and a1 then we we check the signal on this uh, dial and we keep the signal below under something it's recommended less than 110 and more than 25 so we with this now we change the signal and we tweak from analyzer and polarizer and try to get the minimal signal so this knob so when we get the minimum value then we stop and and note those cha uh, the changed values here here a1 and p1 and then we estimate the a2 and p2 and from dial we reach to a2 from here and then p2 from this side and then in the same way we tweak to get the minimal signal and we get uh, the final values of a, a2 and a2 and p2 and then we calculate psi and delta from here and after that we calculate the solution that is thickness so that we get it's showing around 100 uh, Next term around 99. So this is pretty simple. So
सो वेरी यूजफुल सो डेट्स इट थैंक्स